Hey, thanks so much for watching another video. My name is Ryan. We're here with Dr. Rick. Um, here again. At Music Junction in Camberwell. Thanks so much for watching. Um, we've got a cool video, I think, for you today. Mm. Um, so MXR have just released the Duke of Tone pedal. Um, and we are about to play this pedal. None of us here have played this pedal. No. But we have um, a King of Tone and a Prince of Tone and a Duke of Tone. And what we're going to try and do is, um, yeah, listen to all three and see how close we can get to... Look, I guess the point of it all mm. is the King of Tone is such a great pedal. Um, you know, it's been yeah. my go-to pedal for a good 10 years. Wow. Um, and I, I love this pedal. Unfortunately, there's a long, long wait. Yes, I don't even one. know what the current wait time is. But, Somebody uh, said four years. Four years, years, right. Which is Gosh. crazy. Yep. Um, and if you want to buy them secondhand, they're so expensive. They're crazy yep. expensive. So um, that's what I think is cool about the new Duke of Tone pedal because, you know, it's, number one, it's tiny. Number two, because it's made by a big company like MXR, you can get them. Um, yep. But we want to see how close the Duke of Tone can get to the Prince of Tone 
um, and the King of Tone. Uh, mm. And it might be a good chance to see how the Prince of Tone stacks up to the King of Tone. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. with the King of Tone's mind, uh, the Prince of Tone is a loner. Uh, so thank you so much who, to uh, uh, the friend of the store who lent us this pedal. Uh, and the Duke of Tone is on loan to us, but uh, Music Junction have quite a few on order, um, so they should be in the store soon, but we were lucky enough to get this uh, on loan to us uh, so we can check this out. So what we'll do first is maybe, should we just go, well, how should we do this? Well, I, I just reckon we need to, why don't we first calibrate our ears with your King of Tone, because yep. you're most familiar with that. Yeah, sure. And then okay. uh, we'll, we'll just see how close the Duke can come and, and look, the Duke's got um, Mike Pierre, Analog Man's DNA all over it. Yeah. Um, so uh, I'm sure he wouldn't have put his name to something unless he was satisfied with yeah, you know, yeah, the choice yeah. of components and the yeah, build sure. quality and all those sorts of things that mean that you get a four year wait list for a pedal. Yeah, so um, yeah. yeah, I think we should hear the sort of ground zero king of tone and yeah. go from there. I think also we'll point out that we, we might do um, a clip where we're just playing the pedals but in this for what we're going to do now we're going to run the three pedals through Dr. Rick's board mm. all three of them are going through a gig rig chord master so they're, they're on a looper so you know if they're not engaged they're out of the out of the loop um, and this is to to show how it might sound on a pedal board like a real live yep um, well, not a gig situation, but you know, yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, like a pedal board. Yeah, for sure. So I'll do some. Let's let's hook them up, and then we'll be right back, and we'll hear how they sound. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, we're back. Okay, so how we've got this running is, we're going through again. We're going through Dr. Rick's board, but we have the um, all three of the pedals hooked up to a looper, um, and they're going through Dr. Rick's pedal board to Dr. Rick's milkman, milkman amp. Um, so we've got the Duke of Tone, the Prince of Tone, and the King of Tone. And what I've done is I've got my favorite setting on my King of Tone, and I've just set the same, well, close to the same um, on the Prince Tone and the Duke of Tone. And we're going to see how they all sound just on the same knob setting. I know that's not going to, that's not the best way. Uh, what we'll do is mm. we'll tweak the levels with our ears, and then we'll see if we can get close. Yeah to yeah. my king of tone Absolutely. Um, and then we'll just you know play in the individual pedals and, and just see um, which one we like best so we've got a les paul and a strat today um, so we can hear it so should we what should we start with king of let's tone? start with the king, king of tone, tone. yeah okay. so this is my favorite setting yeah so this is using the distortion sound yeah from the king of tone so i'll play the guitar on eight to start with <laughs> I think we'll pave it all the way open. So that's pretty rocking. Prince of Tone? Prince of Tone. Wow! <laughs> All Actually, right. No, it's gone for that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's very cool. Man, that Prince Pretty cool. kicks ass. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, okay, so the Duke. Let's go to the Duke. So again, this is the setting. These are the settings on the, you know, I guess to to mirror what mine is. Yep. But I didn't use. I really just looked at it and and did it. So we let's use our ears yeah. though and try to get close. So, yep. um, 
let's should we just do volume first and then you know try and get closer yeah, to yeah, so, so. yeah so doc can you keep playing and yeah. I'll, I'll fiddle with your knobs okay <laughs> Okay, so we've heard it where um, the Prince of Tone and the Duke of Tone's knobs were exactly the way I like it. But, um, and of course, that's not going to sound the same. No, no. But I've kind of fiddled uh, with Dr. Rick's knobs while he was playing. And um, I think we got it to sound pretty close. Yeah. So we'll have a camera um, on the pedals so you'll see me kick them in and out. So the first one... Oh, sorry. The, yeah, this one is the King of Tone. That's the Duke, and that's the Prince of Tone. Beautiful. Um, so I'll do them randomly. Dr. Rick will play, and then we'll see if we can, if you guys can hear it, or, or if we can hear it. Yeah. I won't be able to hear it, but. Okay, so uh, King of Tone. Okay. <laughs> What do you mean? Gee whiz. I mean, it's, it's interesting. I think the King of Tone, it, it sounds a, a bit sort of um, more rolled off in, the, in yeah. the tops or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit more mellow, whereas these uh, young up-and-comers, the Prince and the Duke, <laughs> uh, they've kind of got a, they're really sort of brash and got this yeah. front-end attack on it. But they all sound really good, though. They, they all sound, sound yeah. tinny and... That's right. Um, yeah, they're really pretty full and bristly and... Yeah. Yeah, just full that's of energy. Right. I, I think that's what I thought while you were playing. I just thought, you know, it's it's like, yeah, I get, I was thinking that the King of Tone had less gain than the Prince and mm. the Duke. Yeah. But yeah. it wasn't, when I switched over, it wasn't like, oh, that sounds bad. It's like, oh, that's a good, yeah, something else. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think the Duke of Tone and the Prince of Tone are really close. Yeah. Yeah, very similar. Very similar. Yeah. Um, yeah, I wonder, I wonder if, so the Prince of Tone is meant to be one side of the King of Tone. Yep. And so I guess the Duke of Tone is a smaller version of Prince of Tone. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I think so. That's great. And it's, um, 
Yeah, the, the Duke is made in uh, America. Oh, right. Uh, and the Prince of China is, uh, comes from China. <laughs> no, it does. no, it doesn't. Does it? The Prince comes from China. No. Yeah. I kid you not. Oh, right. Prince of China so is, is manufactured in China. I, I always thought it was made, you know, in, in the US. No. Okay, so the Prince of China is made in China. Yeah. Which is why I guess you can get them. Yeah. Like regularly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Huh. So, I mean, look, the king of time, largely unobtainable, yeah. uh, unless you want to wait or pay exorbitant yeah, prices uh, on the second-hand yeah. market. But it's good to know that these things are uh, available and, you know, MXR, yeah. you know, have got incredible sort of, um, you know, efficiencies of scale. So yeah. they'll be churning these things out. And it, it sounds pretty mighty, especially for us. You know, in such small a small enclosure pedal. as well. I think for me, the the King of Tone, I've it's possibly the oldest drive I own. Mm. And it's because, you know, I've never been able to replace it. It's just, it's like, it's my one pedal. If I had one pedal to take to a blues jam, yeah, that's yeah. the one I grab. Yeah. Because um, yeah. it just does everything. Like, I think, you know, it does that rock thing and it's a great rhythm pedal but it's also a really great lead pedal. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you run one side into the other for a lead? Or? I don't. Wow. Uh, I should, yeah. but I don't. I generally run the other side as more of like a boosted clean. Yeah. But I... Because you can choose with the internal yeah, can, dip switches. Yeah, dip you? switches that you can yeah. choose. But uh, so the, the yeah, I, I just use, you know, the right side. Mm. Um, and I, I love the pedal. It's been one of my favorite pedals yeah but i've been so lazy if you're like me and you're lazy and you want to go a smaller board mm. that pedal size just takes up a lot of real estate yeah yeah um, so i was thinking of getting a prince of tone but yeah. now that the duke is look at that like yeah you guys can see this in, in the shot like you can see how small that is yeah it's crazy but it's you know it's not a compromise uh, no it's not a compromise yeah sound. yeah yeah there's a um, few pedal manufacturers making them in, in this sort of enclosure now and, and they just sound mighty. Yeah, so, yeah. And Let's, yeah. Do you want to hear it through this, right? Do you want to do the, the switching? Yeah, 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 absolutely.
Mate, I can't pick between them. I, the only way I could tell you were switching them yeah. was one of them had lower gain. But yeah. I, I didn't want to look if it was the yeah. king of stone. But yeah. otherwise, I couldn't really tell. And it, again, it wasn't like, oh, that lower gain one, you know, sounds better than the other one. Yeah. It was like, they're all three. Yeah. I, you did all three, right? Yeah. They yeah. all sounded great. Yeah. And I could tell slight differences in my playing um, as far as compression goes. Yeah. But, yeah. but sound-wise, I couldn't tell. No. So is the drive goosed on the King of Tone at the moment? Is that? Yeah. So that's wow. full gain. Um, Gosh. On the high, yeah. you know, the red high gain side. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and <laughs> well, look at the gains on the other two. There's some yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah. It's I wonder if let's go, let's go to um, OD and see if that's maybe more similar. Yeah, Jack, you want to go play? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty, it's amazing to get all those tones in one tiny pedal. Yeah. Far out. That's that's kind of blowing my mind. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of blown away because I've had that pedal for 12 years. Wow. I've done so many hundreds and hundreds of gigs with mm. that pedal. Yeah. And I cannot tell that. Oh, the Prince of Tone or the Duke of Tone sound different. Yeah. You know, they, they, it's, it's, 
it's such a small ballpark. Yeah, yeah. You know, there are differences I can, that I can hear, mm. but it's it's essentially the same tone. Yeah. Well, it's Mike Piera, isn't it? It's his ears. Oh, yeah. His resistor V's, yep. uh, the chip, the same chip. Yeah, yeah, um, wow. All, all just condensed down and... Um, I, I didn't want to like this. <laughs> I didn't. I just thought, oh, this is what the world needs, another another, yeah. another overdrive. But, um, you know, I guess there's a reason that there's this huge wait list for it. it yeah. He's just got it so right. Yeah, I mean, he he's does, heard yeah, yeah. a million tube screamers. Yeah. You know, that was his stock and trade for years, wasn't it? Modding tube yeah. screamers, back to yeah. the TS-808 spec. Yeah. So his ears are so well tuned and, and I guess taking all the all the deficiencies of the tube screamer circuit, the big mid hump, the bass cut off, oh, wow. all that sort of stuff, and just sort of tweaking it out. Still making it musical, still making it cut through a mix. Yeah. Um, you know, you don't kick it on and say, oh God, where's the body yeah, of the yeah, sound yeah. going? It's, oh no, it's big, it's a yeah. big sound. In this room, hopefully the mic, I'm sure the mic would be yeah. able to pick it up, but yeah. in this room, it sounds massive. I'm really... Oh gosh. I'm, well, I actually, <laughs> I wanted to like this because I, it's not that I want, wanted to replace my King of Tone because I don't think I can. No, but, no. Um, but lately I've been stacking drives a lot. So, yep. you know, having the big King of Tone isn't always yeah. great yeah. for my pedal yeah. board. So Absolutely. having the small size and knowing that, you know, I'm actually not going to compromise on no. my sound. No, not at all. It's... You know, I guess they just they just come out now, so we'll have to see if it's got the longevity. Of yeah, the yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Know, yeah. Um, hey, do you want to do that thing that we do? <laughs> Why not? Let's do it. So credibility. Uh, <laughs> what little there is left. <laughs> but anyway, okay. Yeah. So um, and maybe this time, in the past, you guys were able to see this, but we might not reveal yeah. what I'm using this time, so you can play along with us. Yep. Uh, and and when, when we get a thousand views, we'll <laughs> no no no, we'll we'll tell we'll tell I'll at the end after Doc when he turns around I'll, yeah. I'll tell you guys what yeah. I was using, um, but so how should we do this? Should we maybe go? Do you want to? Do you want to do something like where you play the same? Yeah, thing absolutely. And yep. then I'll you tell me when to switch. And yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll switch them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right. Yeah. Turn around, Doc. Yep. Yeah. So will we use the distortion sides because we're using the red side of the King of Tone? Yeah, sure. Um, I, but the, the OD side sounds so much closer to that, though. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Actually? Do you want to stay in OD? Yeah, yeah. Stay I'll stay in OD. OD, yeah. Yep, stay in okay, OD. Okay, so... <laughs> this doesn't do anything because he's turned around. Just for dramatic effect. Yes. Okay, so let's start with um, pedal A. Pedal A. Okay. Yeah? Ooh, yep. Okay, pedal B. <laughs> That's a good sound. <laughs> pedal B. Pedal C. Do you want to do that cycle again? A, B, and C. Yes, please. Okay, so A. Okay, pedal B. Okay. 
Okay, Doc. Um, <laughs> what was your favourite? A, B or C? I liked A, actually. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tell, can you tell us why? It just sort of um, had just a little bit more attitude, a bit right. of bristle about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, that sort of slightly crunchy attack. Okay. Um, I found the other two a little bit more um, mellow, oh, okay. a bit softer, yeah. maybe a bit more compressed. Um, compressed, right. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I liked A the best. A and the best, yeah. I think probably, probably C second and yep. then B the, th the, third. the third. Okay, cool. Yeah, still... Did you, but did you think um, B and C were closer? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely closer, but still um, just with that slightly softer attack or just less of a front edge on the note. Oh. Yeah. I, I, know, I know what you're going to say. You, were, <laughs> you didn't change at all. No, I did, went, I did. Yeah, yeah, I did change. I did change it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. So no, I, um, yeah, for me, just has that uh, slightly more sort of rock and roll uh, attack. Yeah, um, right. Yeah. So A number one. What's number two? Um, yeah, I think C. I, 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 I don't think yeah. I'm changed from my first. So I like A best, C second, and then. B third, but it's just like choosing your kids. <laughs> they, they all sound great, but for for the mood I'm in this morning, um, yeah, A does it for me, and then C, and then B. All oh, right, okay. Do yep. you want to reveal? Um, <laughs> yes, go on. Okay, so A was the Prince of Tone. Wow. Right. Yep. B was the King of Tone. Yeah. And C was the Duke of Tone. The Duke. Wow. So your second favourite was the Duke. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It is pretty cool, but that's amazing. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. That's, I think that's cool because we're talking about, you know, pedals that are way more expensive. Yes. Or, well, more ex yeah. elusive. Yeah, to get, absolutely. Like the King of Tone is yeah. going to be harder to get than... Yeah. Um, than the other two, but mm. um, but really, again, I can't like I can hear the subtle differences, mm. but in a gig situation, or if you had one, you'd be yeah. totally happy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, I'm going to turn around. Yeah, you um, do your ABN. We'll yes, see. absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Hey. B dot? B. And C. B again. Yeah. No problem. Now, can I hear A again, please? Sure. C again. Jesus, I, I, I really thought I was like, oh, I know which one's what, but no, not after hearing. Can I go B again? Sure. Can I go C? Yeah. <laughs> Can I go C again? Yep. Can I go 
go B, please. That's not cool. Can I turn around? Yep. Okay, so <laughs> I do this always. I always go, oh, I know which one's what. <laughs> yeah. But no. It's but so I do. It's so different when you're so, listening as opposed no. to playing. Yeah. yeah. So my favorite is 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 B, Yep. I think. Um, and let me say this, right? It's not my favorite as in it's the best sound. It just, to me, I think I would love that sound at a, at a gig. If I had that sound. Yep. B is my number one. And actually my number two is tied. Yeah, yeah. And C, I can't tell them mm. apart. Mm. Maybe maybe C's a little less compressed. Um but I got you to turn them around, like play with I got you to switch around while I was playing because I stopped using my ears. It yeah. was I started going by feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was right. like, I can't tell. Yeah. Like they sound this. And they same. feel good on your fingers, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. They feel really nice on the fingers. Yeah, so yeah. it wasn't like oh, a B felt better. It was just I think is B mine. Is B my king of tone? No. Really? Ooh. Not your shit. Okay. But B will be yours. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Is B the duke? Please, the Duke. No! Yeah. Whoa! Okay, so what was... So, okay, B is my favourite. B is the Duke. Yeah. What's A and C? A is the King of Tone. A is the King of Tone. And C is the Prince. Wow. Can I just say that, that A was my least favourite? I know I said A and C were tied. Yeah. But A was kind of like my least favourite one. Yeah. That's, oh that, that's the uh, new old stock parts in it that are getting old, mate. Older, it, yeah. It, just, it does feel... Yeah. I mean, you know, we've got the game dialed on it. Yeah. Absolutely dined, rather. Yeah. Um, yeah, these, these young ones are... They're pumped up on the roids, man. Jeez, man. That, yeah. That, that, so the, okay, so the reason why I thought B was my favourite, or the Duke of Tone was my favourite, was because it just had a really beautiful amount of compression mm. and it had like beautiful air yeah. and that sparkle. Yeah, it's not over the top, is it? It really was, responds, I especially was, with the Strat, yeah. it brings it out. Oh, dude, I, I was like, that's the king of tone, for sure. Yep. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually really glad. I'm really glad because, you know, when they came out, I was like, I'm going to get one. Yeah. And doing this yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. just not good for my gas, but it's great no, for it's no. great for it's great for my tone. It is, and look, you know, um, I'll tell you a story one day about my dealings with uh, Mike Pierre. He's a stand-up guy, yeah. awesome guy. Yeah, yeah, I heard. Um, but uh, so when I saw him making this video with MXR, and I was just thinking, oh, Mike. Yeah. But no. He, oh yeah. He, he's definitely done it. Yeah. I, I really. I like it too. Yeah. When I was listening to you play, I'm clicking between. I'm thinking, please say, please say you'll do B again, because yeah, just I, I really do like it. Yeah. It feels like, but like you said, with a strap. Yeah. You know, it was. Yeah, it brings it out. It just brings it up. You know, the, the touch dynamic yeah. and all that sort of thing, and it's not overly compressed too. So yeah. um, it just feels musical, doesn't it? Yeah. When yeah. I did the rhythm parts, when I was like, you know, yeah. when I was banging them out, yeah, I could tell less yeah i think they felt and sounded the same mm. but it was when i was doing that you know yeah the, yeah the lighter like the dynamic so yeah. I mean, um the duke tone stood out to me yeah Ooh. thank you we're gonna buy one okay so i'm really glad we've got the <laughs> i'm really glad we got to do this because yeah. for the longest of time yeah. Longest of times. Longest of, yeah. for the longest time. For the longest time. I've I've wanted to get a Prince of Tone, um, you know, because I've always wanted to get a second King of Tone. Yeah. You know, yeah. just on a different board or yeah, backup. Absolutely. But yeah. yeah, they're so hard to get and they if you want second hand one, you know, yeah. there are people that are Crazy. selling them for crazy prices. But yep. 
So I was like, oh, I'll get a Prince of Tone. Um, but I'm, man. The no, Duke, you don't got to. The Duke. Yeah. The Duke's where it's at. For me. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah what, are your, what are your thoughts on this? Oh, no, no, absolutely. Um, I must admit, I don't really go for distortion pedals per se. Yeah. But um, the distortion in this again, and why should it surprise us that yeah. you know Mike knows what he's doing? Oh man! In terms yep. of making things that sound musical, yeah. Um, so he does. Um, yeah, look, as I said, the the jury's still out on the longevity of these things, how how long they last. But yeah. you know, I think MXR pedals, you know, they're on Van Halen's board, weren't they? So yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, I'm sure they they build it into them, but yeah. uh, I'm I'm really impressed with both this. The only thing we haven't tried is the boost side, but the distortion sounded great. Yeah. Um, and the OD is, yeah, it's great. It's everything you want from your tube screamer. It's, yeah. Except, um, you know, no mid hump and no bass cut off. And it just yeah. sounds, it sounds great. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Feels good under the fingers too. So, um, no, I'm, I'm really impressed and I'm <laughs> glad that um, Music Junction's got a few of them come in yeah. because there'll be N minus two. Available for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Two for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh man. Yeah. yeah. I'm. I'm definitely going to get one. Yeah. When when the store gets them. Yeah. Same thing. Um, yeah. Come and try them out. Um, they should be in stock pretty soon. I think. Um, keep an eye out on the so socials, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, Music Junction will let you guys know when that's coming in. Again, thank you so much, Dr. Rick, for coming. Oh, mate. Love having this you This has here. been fantastic. So good. Uh, <laughs> doing our blind tests. Oh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit the bell for the notification. Um, send, write us a comment if you'd like us to do a different kind of video um, that you'd like to see, a uh, different kind of blind tests, maybe. Yeah. Um, we're always up for blind tests. <laughs> we love doing it. <laughs> but... Uh, Thank you so much, our friend who lent us the Prince of Tone. Um, and also, thank you so much to uh, our rep who got the MXR uh, Duke of Tone for us to play. Um, so we we'll, might do a small video um, just so we can cycle through the different settings um, so you can hear that just by itself. But I think, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty convinced, you know, like going up against the, the other two or originals. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, it more than holds its own. Yeah, definitely. Hey, thanks so much again for watching. We'll see you soon. Cheers. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching another video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get all the notifications. We'll see you soon. Bye.